Well, happy Tuesday, and aren't you just glad to see me? Yeah, I know, you're not glad to see me, but that's not the point. Today, we have our ninth price change of 2023, which is nuts because we just had our eighth price increase less than a week ago. And this time, it's the opposite direction of the trend that we've been seeing, which is very unusual because it's becoming very difficult to figure out exactly what Tesla is doing except for just chalking it up to be real-time pricing. So if this trend continues, we are likely to see numerous price changes for the rest of this year, and these are going to be up and down. As today is evidence, we do have a price increase, and we will get to that in just a moment. In addition, we have some updates about Canada, and although we don't get a ton of details about what's going on in Canada, we have some really good details on Canada if you're sitting on a Model 3 order. I was messaged by a couple of you just today, actually, about your Model 3 orders being delayed, and this seems to be pretty prevalent across Canada, so I will also be providing an update on that with some details. Just like with previous price changes, we try to get that out to you as quickly as possible, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified as soon as prices change. Let's begin now with price changes on the Model 3. The standard range Model 3 went up by $250 and now starts at $40,240. Presumably, the long-range Model 3 would be 49,240, and the performance at 53,240. All three models, $250 increase. Over on the Model Y, starting with the all-wheel drive Model Y at 47,240, the long-range at 50,240, and the performance at 54,240. Again, $250 increase across the Model Y lineup. So we have $250 increase on the Model 3, $250 increase on the Model Y, and this is following a decrease that we just had less than a week ago. Another thing that happened in the previous price change was the seven passenger Model Y, which is only available on the long range Model Y, went back down from $4,000 back down to $3,000. As we started to get details on which models would qualify for the full $7,500 tax credit, the Model Y would only qualify under an $80,000 MSRP if it was a seven passenger configuration. So of course, demand for seven passenger Model Ys went through the roof. However, that's since changed and all Model Ys qualify for that 80,000 MSRP cap. So demand has obviously probably gone right back down to its normal levels and we're finally seeing prices back down to that $3,000 level. Of course, as you know, including this price change, Tesla has dynamic pricing. So when there are demand spikes and it's on a specific configuration or a specific option, Tesla does generally attack that with a price change to help fluctuate demand versus supply. Now, something a little bit interesting about this, I've been seeing a ton of reports across numerous outlets saying Tesla inventory is on the rise. And although that is true, we would expect to see a price change today be a decrease, right? So it's interesting to see that it went up $250. Another thing that's really interesting, with the exception of the long range Model Y, all Teslas, all other configurations, the Model 3, the Model Y, the S and the X can all be delivered in an estimated time frame of May this month. However, the long range Model Y is May to June. It's the only model that has somewhat of a window that's a little bit extended. Now, of course, these are nothing like the lead times of last year, but it's interesting to see that inventory is increasing. It does not seem that you're gonna have to wait too long for an order, but prices went up. So definitely not sure exactly what's going on, but we'll keep a close eye on this because with such a minor increase, is this just a margin play? or is this something else? It doesn't appear to be a demand thing. Very hard to understand exactly why $250 made a difference. We're not even talking about a big change up or down. And even when we look at the beginning of this year, the Model 3, the standard range is still down $3,750 with today's price. 750 on the long range and the performance that's still quite a bit less than it was at the beginning of the year and over on the model y 3750 on the all-wheel drive 2750 on the long range and another 2750 on the performance and there's also another one to two thousand dollars depending on which trim 
that was even higher in February. So there's quite a bit less cost involved in getting a Model Y or a Model 3 today and this extra $250 in reverses of what we had last month doesn't really make a lot of sense. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Did this even sway anybody's decision? Surely $250 didn't really make an impact on a buying or a not buying decision. And now for those of you up north, my friends in Canada, I have a little bit of an update for you as well. We actually got some pretty awesome drone footage in China at the port of Shanghai. Now this video comes to us from Wu Wa on YouTube. This drone footage gives us some pretty awesome details. And if you pay close attention, you're going to see some things that are pointing out some very interesting developments. Of course, we did just last week learn that Tesla is going to be offering a rear wheel drive Model Y with an LFP battery in Canada for commercial customers. This is not gonna be something that you as a consumer can order, but this is going to be a limited offering for commercial customers. Now we also know that with an LFP battery, it is also going to be coming directly from Shanghai. So this part is not so much news. We can even see in this drone footage some Model Ys that are clearly left-hand drive and appear to have a more squared license plate cover on the back. These would obviously be going to North America and they're not going to be coming into the United States. They're going to be going to Canada. So these would be those rear wheel drive Model Ys. But what's also interesting, you gotta pay very close attention. It's very hard to catch, but here is a small piece of a left-hand drive Model 3 with a square license plate. This particular Model 3 is being backed off of a transportation truck, which is then being stored to be loaded on the ship. This is also going to North America. This is probably why everybody in Canada who has a Model 3 order in right now got moved to May. All of you got pushed about a month out and you all have the same delivery date. So it appears that Canada is also going to start getting their Model 3 inventory from Shanghai as well. So if you are indeed getting this China-made Model 3, it will be coming with an LFP battery and it's still going to qualify for whatever the incentives are available to you at your location. Now, when we look at the details of this particular ship, it is headed to Washington in the United States. However, this is a port that's commonly used to transport goods into Canada. That is some kind of interesting developments that we're finding that you folks in Canada might be getting a China-made Model 3 here very soon. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time.